Hello, we are Group 9, and we are going to introduce our project Search-Based Test Input Generation for Chatbot Testing. Here's our table of contents. First, we are going to define our problem. Then, we will be giving out explanations on our approach, and end with the result of our evaluation and recommendations for future works. First, problem description. It is very well known that search-based approaches are used for testing various domains, and one of those ways is by generating test data. Test data generation can vary from SQL queries to test suits for finding energy defects in Android apps. We are attempting to apply such search-based methods into another domain, which is chatbot testing. The current chatbot testing methods consist of both manual and automated tests. Under these tests, there are general testing where basic inputs for chatbots such as greeting is used, domain-specific testing, where one specifically focuses on a domain, such as a subject, for testing chatbots, limit testing, where one fault handles the tests when input is irrelevant, and manual testing, which is done by humans to detect possible errors. However, we have identified a few challenges that current chatbot testing methods have. The main cause for these challenges is that there are so many conversation patterns that can arise, which results in a lack of standardized strategy for testing chatbots. Also, users do not always explicitly mention the context of the conversation they want, which robust chatbots must be able to catch. So, we decided to generate input data for chatbot testing that covers diverse topics in a domain and suits the context of the conversation. Next, we will discuss about our approach to address the problem. So, we have referenced the approach of constrained sentence generation by a Metropolis Hastings Sampling, or CGMH, where we input a set of keywords in a discourse domain and get an output of a set of sentences sampled from the desired sentence distribution. The first step in this approach is training a language model where we predict probabilities of sentences that make sense with two LSTM layers of size 300. After that, we have made some modifications on the CGMH model, where similar RNN models with two LSTM layers was applied, but the language model was trained on Google AI's natural questions dataset so that the output will be in forms of the questions. We have used 200 1,754 questions for training, and 22,418 questions for validation. Furthermore, we have used categorical cross-entropy as the loss function. In this part, we'll discuss our evaluation on the setups and the results, as well as our limitation for this project and possible future work. To evaluate our chatbot input sentences, we compared our model-generated chatbot inputs with human-generated inputs. For the model, we used a keyword as an input and got 15 sentences in the question form as an output. For humans, we gave them the keyword, specifying that it is the domain of the chatbot you're trying to test, and asked each person to generate 15 testing inputs per keyword. Five people participated in the human side evaluation. We perform evaluation in three different domains, sports, shopping, and music. As mentioned in the proposal video, we use two criteria to evaluate the generated testing input. We first measure topic relevance with LDA, where we extracted three major topics from the 15 testing inputs and calculated their relevance towards the original topic or the keyword. Then, we measured diversity of the testing inputs by averaging the similarity of all possible combinations within the 15 inputs. Both criteria were measured after filtering the stop words, which ended up mostly with the significant words. These are some examples generating test generated testing inputs from the model. In the sports domain, the sentence is, what sports come from the United States? In the shopping domain, the sentence is, who is shopping for coconuts? And in the music domain, the sentence is, how many country music come out in the 1920s? As you can observe from the sentences, some have grammatical errors, but you can understand the meaning of the sentences. This is the result evaluated in terms of topic relevance. 
The range of the numbers is from 0 to 1, and 1 indicates higher topic relevance. As you can see from the numbers, the modal generated testing input has higher topic relevance in sports and music domain, and the human generated testing input has higher topic relevance in the shopping domain. Even in the shopping domain, the gap is very small. We believe that the topic relevance is higher in the modal generated testing input because the model is more likely to choose words that are more directly related to the topic keyword. For diversity, a number closer to zero indicates greater diversity as the numbers show the similarity of the generated inputs. The model was able to come up with more diverse answers in all three domains, and the gap is the biggest in the shopping domain. We think that filtering out the keyword when computing diversity might have influenced the results, as all the modal generated inputs contains the topic keyword. Although the machine won in terms of both topic relevance and diversity, we think that we still need to evaluate whether there are good enough chatbot testing inputs. Thus, we plan to perform a case study with an actual well-working chatbot before the final report deadline. We chose Cookie, one of the world's best conversational chatbot, and will compare the chatbot output given the model and the human-generated inputs. We plan to evaluate the output in terms of diversity and the number of inputs that the chatbot cannot answer. Here are some limitations from the project and possible future works. First, although we modified an existing language model to generate questions, with the modification, the model did not perform as well as ex expected. We believe that training with more epochs and performing more hyperparameter tuning can improve the performance of the model. Also, the dictionary we used to train the language model was made with Google AI's Natural Questions dataset, which is a very general question dataset. Since most chatbots are domain-specific, in order to test them, using a world dictionary specific to their domain would result in a more diverse, domain-related testing inputs. Finally, our prediction using RNN was pretty accurate, but took too long in both the training and the testing. In the future, we wish to use other language models, such as Ngram language model, to calculate sentence probability. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.